All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So as we wind down to the end of the autumnal training slash tech Gohan campaign on global, a lot of people have been asking me what I think the next, you know, summonable unit or banner for the next global campaign is going to be. So I gave this question some thought, right? And honestly, it's a really freaking good question, man, because nobody can really say for sure. I mean, of course, the next global campaign we can expect to see is this year's Halloween celebration. And as far as the banner we'll be getting for this, if you just refer to the units we're still missing from the JP side, uh, chronologically, the next banners that should drop are the Dual Dokkan Fest for Tech Boo and Int O Tanks, right? But if you look back to last year, we actually did get a Dual Dokkan Fest around this time but it was in the form of Tech Trunks and AGL Zamasu for the Thank You Celebration, which came after the Halloween Celebration. And for last year's Halloween Celebration, we actually got, let's see here, the Legendary Summon Banner for STR Full Power Frieza. Now, the only Legendary Summon Banner we're missing from the JP side is actually for LR Jiren, at least for like a new unit Legendary Summon Banner. And we're not going to be getting LR Jiren this early because that's going to be for the Christmas celebration at the end of the year with the LR Blue Boys, right? So basically, if you think about it, the only unit we're missing from the JP side that would make sense is this dude right here. The Fizz Angel Golden Frieza or Final Form Frieza that transforms into Angel Golden Frieza. But the thing is, this dude just came out, actually his banner is still active on JP, right? So he literally came out on October 5th. That was like 10 days ago. So uh, yeah, it just doesn't really make logical sense for them to release this guy so early. Because usually for units on JP, they come to global like, you know, four to six months, sometimes a little bit earlier, maybe like two to three months. But usually it's like a fairly you know, long period of time before new Dokkan Fest units or new LRs go from JP to Global. But as I just talked about, none of the other units we're missing actually make any sense, right? Like Jiren doesn't make sense, uh, Blue Boys doesn't make sense, uh, the dual Dokkan Fest is most likely going to be for the thank you celebration just like last year with Trunks and Zamasu, so we're not going to get Gotenks and Boo this early either, and there's really nothing else that we're missing, unless I'm forgetting about something, but I don't think I am. So yeah, Angel Golden Frieza is the only Dokkan Fest unit, or just new unit in general, that would make sense for the Halloween campaign this year, which should be starting in approximately five days or so. Now, if you only think about units are missing from JP, then yeah, it's gonna be the Angel Golden Frieza, which once again is crazy, and I can't really wrap my mind around it, but I guess if you think about it that way, it does kind of make sense. It could be this guy. He might just be dropping super, super early, and I'd be okay with that because he's awesome, but it'd just be weird, right? But at the same time, there are a few other options, okay? One of them is very exciting, and the other one is really, really boring, if I'm being honest, okay? So let's start with the exciting option first. We could be getting a global first unit to kind of fill this uh, gap between the Tech Gohan banner and the thank you celebration where we're most likely going to be getting the dual dual confess between Boo and Gotenks. And as far as global first units go, we have a ton of options, right? It could be literally anything. Like they could surprise us with like a dual confess Roshi or the first Garlic Jr. or something like that. But since we're on the Boo Saga right now, and there's one character that they seem to have just purposely left out, even though everybody was asking for it, even though it made all the sense to release this guy during the worldwide celebration, they decided not to. So if we are going to be getting a global first unit around this time, you know, during the Boo Saga theme on global, then it's got to be a new Kid Boo, And not just any Kid Boo, but an LR Kid Boo. Now, of course, I know this is the Fizz Kid Boo. He's just here as a placeholder. But uh, yeah, guys, I think that an LR Kid Boo, if we are to get a global first unit for the Halloween celebration, just makes all the sense. And I would be so, so happy about this. I know JP players might be a little bit salty, but yo, they're getting a Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, okay? So I don't feel sorry. 
I don't feel bad, and if we do get a global first unit, I really freaking hope it's a Kid Buu. Not only hope though, I think it just makes the most logical sense, because like I said, it just seems like they purposely left out Kid Buu from you know, everything to do with the worldwide celebration. I mean, he was like in the promo, I guess, but that's pretty much it, right? There was no EZA um, during the celebration. There was no new free to play Kid Buu even. Like he is literally like the final boss in the Buu saga and they did not include him as a unit, right? So yeah, I think Bandai and Akatsuki are up to something and maybe they were holding on to the Kid Buu to release during this period as a global first while JP is getting the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Actually, you know what? Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta shouldn't be coming until next month, I believe. Because for JP, they actually might not be getting a new summonable unit for their Halloween celebration, because I think that's what happened last year. I could be wrong. Correct me if I am wrong. But uh, yeah, I do think Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta actually will be slated for the beginning of November. But anyways, um, yeah, Kid Buu, LR Kid Buu, Global First is the second option. It's either Fizz, Angel, Golden, Frieza, or a global first unit at this point. And of course, like I said, there's many, many options. Kid Buu is just one of them. But if we were to get a global first, then let me know in the comments down below what you guys would want. Do you want like a new God of Destruction Topo? Or do you want a new LR Janemba? We definitely need one of those. Or anything in between. I mean, Janemba would actually kind of make sense for the Halloween theme because he's like a monster, right? Although Kid Buu also kind of fits that theme because he can be a little bit creepy sometimes, you know? So anyways, whatever your you know, desired global first unit would be, let me know in the comments down below about that, okay? So that was the exciting option other than Angel, Golden, Frieza. And now let's talk about the much less exciting option, but possibly more realistic option okay so jp actually had a string of these um legendary summon banners which featured some older like not super old but older um lrs like lr baby and the lr gt trio lr goku and frieza uh lr cell and lr trunks and my i think there might have been a few more but i can't find them here either way it was basically all these like legendary summon banners that had you know, existing LRs in the game featured for people that maybe didn't have a chance to summon for them in the past or uh, weren't able to pull them back then and maybe want to try again or something like that. So there's the potential that we just get a bunch of these, you know, older LR featured banners for this year's Halloween celebration and maybe they'll release like in increments of like a couple days so or intervals rather. So maybe they'll release, you know, Goku and Frieza first and then three days later we get LR Baby, three days later we get LRGT trio, and then a couple days later, we get Trunks and Mai, or Nappa and Vegeta. Actually, they're too new. Um, you know, whatever it may be, Tech Broly or something like that, maybe something a little bit more exciting, but regardless of what these banners actually feature, if it's going to be an older LR, obviously it's not going to be nearly as exciting as getting a new unit, especially compared to a Global First unit or Angel, Golden, Frieza. But uh, like I said, I feel like this might be a little bit more realistic because maybe Bandai just didn't have time to complete another global first, especially given the state of the world right now. Uh, you know, a lot of projects are being pushed back and delayed on all that stuff, so I'm not really sure if that's realistic. And uh, like I said, Angel Golden Frieza just seems like it's too soon, but I think it's also possible. So those are the three options, guys. One, Angel Golden Frieza. Two, global first unit of some kind, whether it's an LR Kid Buu or anything else, or three, a bunch of, uh, you know, older LRs featured on these legendary summon banners. You guys know which one I prefer. Of course, the global first would be the best possible scenario, best possible case, but I don't know if we can really realistically expect that. I guess we'll have to see. Fingers crossed. Hopefully Bandai gives us a nice surprise. For this Halloween, especially considering, you know, it's gonna be kind of a lame Halloween in real life, right? Like, a lot of people who would normally go to Halloween parties can't really do that anymore. And for someone like me, who was actually really looking forward to going trick or treating with my little brother Phoenix, who's nine, um, can't do that either. So, that's pretty disappointing. So, overall, you know, this Halloween is just gonna be kind of tame, kind of lame compared to you know what it normally is. And I'm hoping Dokkan can compensate for that at least. A little bit. Anyways, that is gonna be the video, guys. 
as I said earlier, I can't really say for sure. Nobody can really say for sure unless you're a Bandai spy, which I am not. But we do have a couple of options, and I think it's gonna be one of those three. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about that. Which one do you think is more realistic? Which one do you think is actually gonna happen? And uh, we'll find out sooner than later in about four to five days once the Halloween celebration begins on Global. Until then, hope you guys are having awesome Octobers, awesome 2020s, as good as it can be. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.